Hey y'all, I am back with a mini album process video and I was invited by Audrey Yeager to um, join in on her summer scrapping series. So I know she was doing um, like seven videos and then she changed it to, she wanted to continue it so she changed it to 21 I believe. And so um, there's several other scrappers um, that are doing this so definitely check out Audrey's channel um, and I will link I will link that down below. So I decided instead of doing a scrapbooking layout that I would work on my mini album from last year's beach trip that I'm way behind on. And so I decided to pull some different things just from my stash. I have some Allie Edwards stamps. I have some Pseudo Calico stamps and I have some things from her uh, from Allie Edwards kits as well. And so I am taking one of the stamp sets from the Lens uh, story kit or story stamp kit and I just went ahead and stamped and stays on ink. Um, love this view. And I added that to right, I right, added that right in the middle of that photo. Could not get my um, fine tip or my fine liner glue to work for some reason. Normally I have zero problems with it, but um, I couldn't get it to work this time. So I just decided to use my tape runner instead. I wanted to add this little, um, it's a chipboard piece from one of the Ally Edwards kits. I think it's probably from the lens kit. And then I added that right underneath and it kind of blends in, but I do like the simplicity of this front part of um, this spread. I do, um, I do two sides. I do this side and then the other side. So you guys will see that as well. Um, I want to just add something really simple to the photo of my daughter. Um, and I just added a couple of little phrases and then now I am working on that three by four card. I think that says enjoying this beautiful day and it's kind of like a more, it's sort of a realistic picture of a beach, but kind of not. And so I'm trying to figure out if I want to add like a date or something, but I couldn't remember exactly like the dates on this. So I just wanted, I just did June 2016 and I decided just to kind of bold up June and I just hand wrote it. Um, I normally don't do that just because I'm um, not really fond of my handwriting, but I decided to just go ahead and, and roll with it and not care too much about that. So the next part of the spread, I am just, I just flipped it over and I have a couple more colorful pictures of my daughter um, in her ba little bit cute little bathing suit. And I cut up one of, I think it's a Studio Calico card or yeah, it's a Studio Calico card. It has like a map on it and I um, cut that in half and then now I'm adding a little piece of ephemera. It's, they're little tags from the Ali Edwards I think it's the lost and found kit and they're really simple and I love that and so I just stamped a little saying on there it's just a take note and then added a chipboard piece right underneath that just to kind of give it something I think it'd be great for a journaling spot too but I just decided to like I said keep it simple and not really add a whole lot and then on that photo same thing I just added just keeping it simple I added a little sticker from the lost and found Allie Edwards story kit and then um, from her fun kit, I added um, a little chipboard, not chipboard, cork piece. I think it says fun day or I can't really see from here, but anyway, maybe fun times or something like that. And on this last photo, I'm just going to add a little label from my stash. And I think that's a print and cut label, um, probably either from Studio Calico or Caitlin Schaefer. Those are the only two places that I've really printed lots of labels from. And then I'm adding a couple little tiny text words and then that's going to sum up my spread. It was super simple but super fun. I hope you guys will check out Audrey's channel. I'll link that down below. Here are some final photos and I will see you guys later. Bye!